welcome back to the production of your dude. Today, we are continuing Find Love or Die Trying. So in the last episode, we restored everyone's memories. They got mad at us at first, but now, we back. And I kind of forgot what <laughs> happened just before we ended it, I'm not gonna lie. But, I do know we're going on another date, and we're still gonna devise a plan to get out of here. So, <laughs> there's that. Anyway, this is where we left off. Hardly a surprise, but I didn't sleep well last night. You know what? I feel the same. I actually took some exams, everybody, <laughs> if you wanted to know. At the time of recording. Who could after what happened? Hi, how are you? And just like that, we're on to day three. I gotta thank you, Degoogs. You're making my job easy. I actually get to spend my nights doing productive things now. I'm happy to help with that. However, that works. <laughs> You're alright. Don't seem to have your usual energy. Careful, Degoogs. One slip up with Cat and it's all over. Nah, I'm good. Already got though, Cat. I just didn't sleep too well. Happens to the best of us. Anyway, it goes without saying that Yui is definitely a contender for the final ceremony, hmm? We'll see, <laughs> yeah. I think we're supposed to play dumb and say like, Um, well, I don't know if this girl is right for me yet. You know, you gotta get with all of them. <laughs> That's how this works, you gotta play dumb. Alright, we'll see. I'm not so sure just yet. Oh, really? That's a surprise. Well, not my problem. Anyway, who's today's unlucky girl? Who is it? Scarlet. Oh. So who should I be asking on a date tomorrow? Or wait, is it Terra? Because I know we haven't gone on a date with Terra yet. Honestly, joking aside. Oh, I think you should ask Violet. Really? I don't think she's in any shape to put on a good show. I mean, we need all of us to be able to work together well to get out of here, right? I don't think Violet will be able to until she's feeling better. What better way to do that than for a date to make you feel special? <laughs> Terra does have a good point. <laughs> I always make great points. Like seeing if I could arm wrestle one of the zombies Scarlet made. That went great. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Wait, I was the zombie. That was not a good idea at all. Can I take my vote back? <laughs> I mean, if you want to. What do you think, the Googs? I like the idea. We could kill two birds with one stone. I'm sure there's something that we could do to help us escape. That we could only do on a date with Violet. Hmm. I've got it. Tomorrow, you'll be gone on a date with Violet. Here's what you gotta do. Ooh, what is it? Oh, we don't know yet? Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll figure it out as we do it. Yeah, Violet. I've always wanted to spend more time with her. There's no time like the present. We'll make it happen. I do have one small request, though. What's that? And will it give me ratings? Yes. <laughs> I think it will. <laughs> and let's hear it. I've noticed Violet being a little down lately, so I wanted to cheer her up. I hear that she really likes cooking, especially in groups. Would you mind if we cooked with the staff at noon? I don't see why not. Let's hope it goes better than the last time. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There's Violet. Oh, she's still in a bad mood though. Oh. Hi, Dagoogs. Why'd you bring me here? I'm in a bit of a predicament. You see, I may have made an irresponsible bet. Ooh. <laughs> I did not take you for a gambler. Well, I'm not. But the thing is, I heard the cooks bragging that you were... Or that they were the best chefs on the island. <laughs> but hey, I've tried the food you've made before. I know nobody else can come close to how good you are. So I may have challenged them all to competition in your name. <laughs> <laughs> you are ridiculous, thank you. I would laughed out loud. There's that smell I like so much. It was nice to see it again. Are you being serious? Dead serious. In a few hours, hundreds of staff are going to come here. Some of them as challenging cooks. Some of them as judges. The rest of them just looking for a free lunch. It's <laughs> right real estate. All of them hungry. Think you're up for the challenge? I am ready to crush the competition. They will rue the day they challenge me. That's the vote I like to see. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, what is the theme of this contest? I can't tell you just yet. It'll be announced when it's cooking time. I do like a challenge. Would you care to stay with me? As I prepare for the festivities? Of course, Violet. Arigato, Degoogs. I know why we're doing this, and I... I appreciate it. I'm not ready to talk about it just yet, but... I feel happier already, knowing you are looking out for me. Yeah, I'm always gonna be here for you. <laughs> we'll always be friendly to the girls. I think that's also key to getting a good ending. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like both of them would probably be friendly. Anyway, I'm always here for you, Violet. And I for you as well, Degoogs. We spent the rest of the time 
before the contest just talking about pleasant things completely unrelated to the show completely unrelated uh to anything of consequence sometimes when bad things happen what you need most is just a semblance of normal normalcy <laughs> It wasn't normalcy, but I guess it's kind of standard. Oh, so Brothers 5, let's go. <laughs> By the time noon rolled around, hundreds of staff members were filling up the kitchen. Well, I don't want to face you, Violet, but I must if I will. Oh, are you challenging me? <laughs> like a snail, challenging the mighty eagle? You have my respect. Ape, is it too late to change sides? You're going down, Violet. We're the Brothers 5, the best chefs on the island. Stop the cow. What's that too? What I meant to say is, wow, you really are the best chef on the island. <laughs> Alright, get a little suck up. <laughs> That's right. Damn it, bros. You can't let her intimidate you like this. If we do, she's already won. Say something for her. We will meet on the corner battlefield, Violet. You may have my brothers running for the hills, but not me and Five. Come at me. What does British or forks against each other? Five, do you have anything to say? Wait. What's happening? <laughs> wow. He's like, wait, so why am I here again? Who, who, who signed me up for this? <laughs> Alright. I do hope you'll entertain me, brothers. I would raise the pan towards them. Let us begin. It's time for the cook-off to end all cook-offs. Each cook will cook their own version of a mystery dish. A dish that I will soon reveal for the first time ever. The judges will be everyone who is not a contestant. <laughs> you must be joking. There's hundreds of people here. How could we ever feed everybody? <laughs> That's not my problem. <laughs> yeah, figure it out yourselves. <laughs> I definitely didn't come up with the rules for this tournament or anything. <laughs> Liar. Violet laughed once more. That was enough to keep this charade going. The mystery dish will be spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, mamma mia. I like taking candy from a baby. No, this again. Oh god, I think I'm gonna faint. He has like PTSD. <laughs> Yep, and he's, and he's dead. Land down, four to go. Bro! I knew we should have been accountants. Why are we fooling ourselves? Oh, you each have one hour. No wait submissions will be accepted. Ever. <laughs> Let the games begin. You ready? Let the games begin. Alright, the contestants that were still conscious rushed off to gather ingredients. How are they going to make that much food? I'm sure they'll figure something out, you know. They always got a plan. I watched each of them cook, furiously at breakneck speed. Violet was hard at work, sweat streaming down her face with the biggest smile I'd seen her have all day. I couldn't help but smile as well. At the same time, Or was trying to cook his spaghetti with only a microwave. <laughs> what the hell was wrong with him? I'm not sure this will be too much of a contest. One minute left! Violet filled hundreds of weighed out bowls with spaghetti and meatballs in a matter of moments. If you blinked, you'd miss her finish a whole row. She has speed. Each looked both delicious and artistic. You would have thought a cook would have spent much longer than an hour putting each of them together. I've settled on making about four and a half bowls. I guess everyone has their own pace. Time's up. It's time to judge. The crowd cheered as they stampeded to the weighed out bowls. They were practically salivating. Everyone wolfed down bowls from each of the contestants. They submitted their vote. The people have spoken. And with the resounding majority, our first ever winner of the best chef on the island in the middle of nowhere award is drum roll violet oh wait she said it. violet or, <laughs> the crowd cheered myself included i did it me i did it i like jumped up and down with joy real because the screen is shaking <laughs> i felt like a kid in a candy store just from one look at her you won fair and square you should be proud of yourself yeah your food was the best i'd ever had I hope you consider our living standards, that doesn't mean too much. <laughs> hey, I just had an idea. What if we get wait, what if we get Violet to cook for the staff at lunch instead of us? Seriously, it's been years since we've had real food. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Honestly, I think it's a great idea. I know I hide it well, but I really have no idea what I'm doing in the kitchen. No way, bro. Violet and I took one look at each other and couldn't help but laugh. I would love to, you guys. God's enthusiasm reached a uh, level of uproarious, wait, uproarious applause. <laughs> I've never seen that word before. Violet, 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 Violet. Yeah, yeah. Can't the name. Oh goodness, I. You're all too kind. Put my arm around her and smiled. Guess you've got a new job now, Violet. <laughs> I guess I do. <laughs> there you go. 
Oh, wait. I... Why would we need to kiss me on the lips? Oh! W Riz. You know, Zhongi... Or not Zhongi, sorry. <laughs> that Googs the Rizzler. <laughs> what they call him. For a moment, time stood still. And the only thing you could hear was the crowd's cheer getting even louder. Vi wit! Vi wit! Vi wit! Oh yeah, go! Team, go! We laughed together. I've had so much fun today, that Googs. Arigato to you. <laughs> Care to join me by the beach after we clean this place up? Oh hell yeah, brother. I wouldn't miss it for the world. The world would pale in comparison. I'll run the beach at night. Hey. Raise your hand out to mine, and I hold hers tight in return. Hey, Violet. You really gave them a great show today, you know? I couldn't have done that without my ever so charming television host. We walked along the beach, our feet bare in the inviting water of the ocean. Really, I. I'm so grateful to you, Degugs. Last night, after finding out what my parents did, I. That was the lowest point I'd ever been to. Hold her hand even tighter. Honestly, I. I didn't see a way out. Escaping the island or not, everything seemed like a dead end. But today, you helped me remember that. Even without them, I've still got me. And I like me quite a bit. Yeah, see, that's the spirit. Based. <laughs> Alright, you really are incredible, Violet. That was all you. With you. Violet mumbled something under her breath. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> uh, sorry. Let me try again. I know I'd be fine on my own. But I'd like me better if I was with you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the song, you know. I like me better when I'm with you. <laughs> For the first time, I sing for a long time, cause I like me better when I'm with you. Sorry. Shut! I couldn't resist. Alright, when we get out of here, I do hope you join me for that cruise. She kissed me again. I felt like magic damn near making out. Why would I put her finger against my lips? Shh. I know it's not quite time for the conversation yet. Wait, which conversation? <laughs> but please do remember what I've said when this is all over. Do you mind if we walk for a little longer? I... I don't want this to end. See, I'd walk- wait. I'm walk with you for as long as you want to? Huh? Can I say I'd walk with you? <laughs> but, um, okay, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I'd- I'm walk- I was like, yeah, I'd walk with you for as long as that. We can walk till the sun comes up. We can talk about anything and everything. So how about we start planning our cruise together? <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be lovely. We walk together till the dead of night. It was nothing less than magical. Up, oh, it's everybody. Just after we came back, a huge storm hit outside. We just missed it. I hope you do enjoy your day today. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's time we get this show on the road. Allie took out the master key from her pocket, spanned it around with her finger with wait, spanned it around the ring with her finger, then put it in the locked door. And we're in. She turned the lock, and then pulled the door open. Wait, whoa, the door's a little heavier than I thought it would be. Must be soundproof or something. Whatever. Let's go. Alright, now I wonder what is in that door. Oh. Aw, oh, man. Not another staircase. <laughs> they would have saved so much money if they just put this on the main floor. But it wouldn't be very secret then, would it? Secret smaker it. It's behind a locked door. Correct! I guess you have a point. Yeah, she does. <laughs> I mean, like, the door is locked and almost nobody can enter. Enter, I guess, except for Kat and maybe Damien. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, there was another staircase. It wasn't nearly as long as the one of the lab. We've been walking down the steps for only a few moments, when we saw where they led. Whoa. Is this a real room or something? Hold on. Oh, you can't even see it. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this has to be it. What's it? A while back, Kat told me that all the information on this island was stored in books. They didn't use anything digital, or with the internet. I think I remember that too. Oh yeah, I recall. <laughs> yeah, they don't use the internet on this island. <laughs> Right. Well, it's bullshit. They're an evil corporation, sent on world domination through fear and control. Of course they have internet. I think we've just found a way into their closets, skeletons and all. Sounds like a pretty big deal. That's an understatement. Your information in here could change the tide of the war. It could give the resistance a real fighting chance, I think. But there's more than that too. What do you mean? My dad, mom, and my brother got taken by these guys a long time ago. Oh shit. Damn. Alright. I don't even know if they're still alive. I was too young to really understand what was happening. If there's anything I can help me find them again, or at least find out what has happened to them, it's in this computer. That was the real reason I came here. The whole reason I risked everything. I... 
What if it doesn't have what I'm looking for? What if... Owie? Yeah, we ran to Owie's side and hugged her tightly. It's going to be okay. You believe in me, right? <laughs> she took deep breaths. Uh, no man aside that you had to say that. I'm okay now. Already got the view. I didn't do anything. Are you ready? Let's do this. I looked at Violet as Owie had prepared to turn the computer on. She looked as concerned as I did, but we couldn't let it show. The screen lit up with a single message. Password required. Well, I think it was going a little too smoothly. I'm not giving up just yet, though. I tried a few different passwords on the keyboard, but none of them worked. Damn it, I bet only Damien or Cat know this. And, no way we could just ask them. <laughs> yeah, true. Silence fell upon the room. Well, you know what? Did you try their names? <laughs> like, one of their names was the passwords? <laughs> it's like, it'd be so funny if that was literally the password. It's like, it's literally like Kit Kat or something, and like just a bunch of numbers. Like, Kit Kat 69. <laughs> it can't end like this. It just can't. Oh, I've got an idea. It's not going to involve wrestling zombies again, is it? <laughs> hey, I've had better ideas than that. What I mean to say is that I think I have a way to crack the code. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a programmer. I can make something that could try all the possibilities for the password. Ooh, okay. Tara. <laughs> a gamer and a programmer? Yo. <laughs> Y'all see why I chose her in the beginning? <laughs> She's more than just a gamer. Alright, it would take some time, especially if it locks me out after too many attempts, but eventually I'd get the password. There was no guarantee we'd get the answer before the show was over. A lot better than a shot than I thought we had. I ran over to Terra and hugged her tightly. I'd got though, you awesome little you. Uh, this is nice. Feel free to compliment me more. <laughs> In the meantime, the rest of us can try and figure out what the password would be as well. That reminds me, I need to tell you guys something important. What's that? Oh, I have our escape plan. Ooh, wait. Whoa, okay, the music. <laughs> oh, triumph, triumphant music. She got the master key and held it for us to see. There's a hidden hangar I found just by the beach. Oh, a little further from where I first found the plane. Now that we have this key, and we know that it works, we can use it to disable the hangar security. Command, wait, commandeer a plane and fly the hell out of here. We practically jumped for joy. I can't believe it. We're almost out of here. It's been a long time coming. Well, soon, but just not yet. Or not yet, yeah, <laughs> whatever. With this storm raging, there's no way we were getting anywhere tonight. At least, wait, we still have all off the ground. But the square skies tomorrow night, that's where it will be. What about the computer? Don't you need to crack it before we go? Yeah, but what about your family? Well, that'd be the ideal case. But honestly, I've gotten to know you guys, and care about you guys, and I... I decided that's more important to save the people I care about, that are right in front of me, and chase a pipe dream. Oh, wait, <laughs> Yui. Alright, she switched places with Scarlet. No, I won't accept it. If I were in your shoes, and I was looking for my sisters, and I just gave up looking for them, I'd regret it forever, and I know you would too. But I can't ask you guys to stay here any longer. We're in danger if we stay here. Oh, and now Violet. Yui speaks for us too. To have family that you really care about, and that cares about you too, you can't give up on that. We're not going anywhere till we crack that code, even if it takes till the last day. You guys? No, I can't allow it. I won't take that chance with your lives. I'm not backing down on this. Uh, what do you think, Degoogs? Oh, so we need to take this chance or we can't take the risk. <sighs> uh, this is hard. I uh, definitely got to save here, as a matter of fact, because... Might have to come back to that later. Who knows, but, um... Let's see, so, yeah, like... I feel like... In our situation, right, like, I feel like Aoi is kind of right. Like, if we stay here any longer, it could be dangerous. But on one hand, too, like... There was a reason we came into this, like, specific room. You see all the computers in the back? So I think it might be a better idea, in my personal opinion, to, like, probably take the risk. And, like, try and see if uh, we can find out anything about Aoi's family, because... Like Violet said, you know, like, they could still be alive. They could, like, well, it's, th like, they still care, they cared about Ali, I assume, before they went missing, right? So, yeah, like, otherwise, like, otherwise, like, Ali wouldn't be going to great lengths to actually try and figure out what happened to them. So, I feel like maybe we should just let Ali, like, figure out what happened to her family. So, I am going to say, we need to take this chance. Let's do it. 
Let's take this chance, Owie. I think you need this. Hi. Oh, Terra. Hi, guys. Take a chill pill for a second. Huh? <laughs> I'm a programming god. Best of the best. I'm going to have that code cracked by tomorrow. And that's a promise. So don't worry, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much. Really. Why are you thinking all of this? I'm the one who has to write the code and shit. <laughs> we laugh together. Something I thought might have been impossible after initial bad news. We're in this together. And we're getting out together. <laughs> Hell yeah. No one gets left behind. Ah, oh, we only caught a brief glimpse in the actual background. <laughs> after we called it a night, I laid in bed deep in thought. Who'd have thought I could have ended today feeling expired? After everything that happened last night. We've got this. We. Oh. <laughs> Terra jump scare. The Googs, one more thing before we turn in for the night. What's up, Terra? I got caught up in the heat of the moment earlier and. Uh oh. I've got no idea. No, 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 no. I do not like where this is going. No. How to do this, cuz. I remember that all I know about hacking videos are people typing really fast and saying, I'm in, and. Gah! <laughs> I practically flew out of it. Okay, it was just a nightmare. <laughs> that was funny, though. My god, it was just a nightmare. Or was it? What does it take to get a good night's sleep on a killer dating show? Come on! Yeah, give me my sleep, man. <laughs> I can't keep having all this stress, dude. Oh, cat. What are you smiling about? Yesterday's date with Violet. <laughs> I feel like things are going my way, dude. Yeah, they're going my way. Yesterday's date with Violet still has me feeling as giddy as a little kid. Sounds like there's perks to being on a killer dating show. Well, don't get too comfortable. You've still got a few days left, and then it's back to the regular. I'm looking forward to that. I bet. Better sooner than later. It costs too much to keep around. <laughs> anyway, the million dollar question. Who's today's lucky girl? That's definitely Terra, right? That'd be... Okay, discussion plan first. <laughs> oh, so tomorrow, it's going to be either Terra or Aoi. Hmm, it's probably best if we go with Terra. But doesn't Terra need time to crack the code? Nah. Already finished making the code breaker, destroying every password as we speak. No guarantee it'll finish before we're both done on our dates, but it's worth a shot. How'd you got though, Tara? Don't worry about it. Besides, I think it's better we save your day for last. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> you're, wait, you're some uh, super spy for some super secret organization. <laughs> Definitely got bigger heist potential than I do. I don't know about that, but sounds good to me. I use the time to prepare some contingency plans. Charlotte, Violet, Huey, I'm gonna need you guys for this. I'm happy to provide assistance. You bet. I'll help however I can. Alright, so yeah, Terra, I was right. Sweet. Alright. Uh, right, Dagoogs. What's up? I didn't just build a code breaker. I built a game that works with it too. Nice. What do you mean? Can it be your console? I just whipped it up real quick. Looks like a code breaking game, but really. It works directly with the computer we found. If you get the password right in this game, you'll have access to the computer. Makes sense? Amazing. I can't believe you whipped up setting so fast. Yeah, she has speed, dude. <laughs> I tell ya. Like Terra. The real brains the whole time. Well, I mean, I would say second to Aoi, though, because <laughs> Aoi actually figured out everything. But honestly, yeah, like Terra, she got the smarts, even if she don't look like it. Like her and Scarlet, I guess, would be on par with each other. I can't really say who's second or third in that situation. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't hard. Just a big middle finger to my mom. <laughs> I thought all my screen time was a waste of time. <laughs> anyway, I figured we can play this game here and there during our dates. Try whatever passwords come to mind. Obviously not for the whole day because ratings and all, but as much as we can. Sounds like a plan. Are you sure this will work? Yeah, sounds like a plan. I trust Terra, you know. <laughs> I'm a genius, that googs. She cackled maniacally. You are. Yeah, I want to spend today with Terra. That's so. Well, we'll make it happen. Try not to spend all of it playing games, though. Believe it or not, that isn't what viewers want in a primetime slot. I would bet. Promises, but I'll try my best. It ain't much, but I'll take it. Alright. Terra time! Ha ha! Sorry, cat, that's pretty much the plan. <laughs> hey, the Googs. You up to play some games? I'd love to, but Cat wants us to do some other... Nope. Games it is. Sweet. There's <laughs> no stopping Terra when she puts her mind to something started playing together in the games room while making pleasant conversation. Normal enough to seem like a regular conversation. Cryptic enough, cryptic enough to disguise what we were trying to do. 
Even if Tara and I never went on crazy adventures, like I did with Allie, it didn't make moments with her any less special. I forget that we're trying to hack in some confidential database. This really is like a fun day at home with your partner. How about Terra is the best? <laughs> Worth a shot? Nope, doesn't work. I'm nerve of them. <laughs> Terra rules? That's a miss. With T capitalized? Maybe add a 0123 at the end of it. <laughs> Thank goodness we have the code breaker running in the background. <laughs> Time to switch gears. Let's give Cat some footage to work with to keep us alive. Good god, that goose! Why the sun? Also, what the hell is that junk cut? <laughs> Bro. Oh. Go. Go. On without me. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> Some way or another, we always end up back inside the mansion, huh? And there's nothing wrong with that. I guess you're right. Up for a few more rounds of the game we just played? Sure. How about... Damien Black sucks. <laughs> nope, doesn't work. Cat Black sucks. <laughs> you know, I totally forgot that like Cat is Damien's star, so her last name is Black. <laughs> Cat Black sucks. <laughs> I like that. I don't know why that's funny. Not that either. How about the Googs? Oh come on, now you're just guessing. Like I wasn't before. Well, I'll try it. Okay, what? <laughs> oh, what? It was really just my name. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, you know what? Well, okay, you know what? I can... I can see why, you know? Like, to be fair, it would be something you'd least expect. Like, oh yeah, it's obviously just Degu's name, you know? Like, he seems like a valuable asset, but like, why would we make him the password if that was obvious? So, there, there you go, I guess. <laughs> the two of us looked at each other like deer in the headlights. Whoa! We cheered as if our favorite team is one at a sporting event. Chotamate? Why would the password be your name? That doesn't make any sense. I guess it's as good as yours. Maybe we'll find out tonight. I hope so. Well, I think I've had enough games for today. Never thought I'd hear you say that, Tara. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> we can spread the good news after. How about we try something new today? Something outside. Sounds like a plan to me. Awesome! Let's go! We ended up going back inside a minute later, but the rest of the day with Terra was still a lot of fun. Alright, so that's kind of cool, like, we, <laughs> we figured out the password, but it was actually pretty funny that it was just my name. <laughs> Alright, and we're in. Password prompt closed, but a satisfying ding ding. Whoa, there sure is a lot of stuff in here. Why would there be a, <laughs> why would there be a folder called over? I saw that girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Tara actually straight up said it. She's like, "Wow, that's definitely a hentai folder name." What the hell? Tara was about to open it until Ali intervened. Do you mind if I take a look? Ah, forgot why we were here for a second. Sure. If you got a flash drive, just <laughs> just like put it on your thing, and then you can look at it later. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, Ali's like confused. Let's see. Ali started going through folders, databases, reports, anything that could be useful. At the same time, Tara started downloading all of the files to her console. I don't think there's anything here about why my name was the password. I don't know, maybe they just thought, like, it's secure because nobody would ever guess it was you. All the rest of us- wait, all the rest of us could do was give Allie and Tara the space they needed. Oh, seems like it's only gonna be up from here, team. I was worried for Allie, especially if we couldn't get into the computer, but it looks like we got it after all. It's too soon to say anything, but I do hope you're right. Let's not jinx it. So what's the first thing you're gonna do when you're out of here? Or when we're out of here? I thought we weren't going to jinx it. I'm going to get straight back to helping people the way I know best. Nothing's changed in that regard. That is a lovely aspiration. Do me a favor and make sure your inventions don't get used on yourself again, okay? I mean, it's not like I was trying to. <laughs> I admire how you can be so sure. As excited I- Wait, as excited as I am to leave this place, I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing after. That's totally okay, Violet. That's part of the fun of life. Just figuring it out as you go. I... I suppose so. Violet looked at me and smiled. That's pretty much my plan at this point, too. Oh, wait. Oh, I'll get her back. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Tara, like... Only Tara did a slide in. She did a little cha-cha slide. Guess who's back, bit? That's it for this again. Um, As you can tell from this later recorded intro, I split this into two parts. I just decided to keep going because I really wanted to see what was going to happen.
And yeah, like, <laughs> there's a lot of twists and everything, so hopefully y'all look forward to the next part. And with that said, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, in the top right corner of your screen, there will be an annotation to the next part once it becomes available. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.